I just bought the cheapest Ford Falcon in Perth, and now that it's here, I'm questioning if it was really worth the amount that I paid for it. Yeah. Let's get it. It's lit. lit. Just take a look at the drip. drip. You boys don't get fired in this. Nest. Roll up dope, yeah, I'm high as a bitch. bitch. Wait, it's lit. lit. Get that little bitch a little tip. <laughs> now she wanna suck on the dick. <laughs> she wanna catch all of the drip. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Wheel. I'm your host, Richie, and today it's a bit different. I don't know where you guys live, but if you live in Perth, where I am, you've got to know that the car market is absolutely fudged. and It is ridiculous. Everyone wants crazy prices for such not crazy cars. So when I stumbled upon this absolute steal, I had to jump on it. And you really can't judge a book by its cover. Or clean interior. So I've been recently on the hunt for a cheap runabout car where I don't have to put the K's on the Z. So don't worry, I haven't sold the Z yet. Yet, I'm joking. But I was on the hunt and all the cars were just really, really expensive. So I came across this and it is, it, it's, it's not the cleanest, but I came across it and I don't want to give out any names. The owner actually said that I could have the car for the price that I paid to fix it up. So I thought, well, I can't say no to that, can I? And this car really needs some work. So for those who aren't familiar, this is actually a 06 BA Ford Falcon, and it's not an XR6. And the list of things that are wrong with this car are huge. So starting off, we have rust, 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 rust. The broken fuel cap where you have to hit it and it opens. I mean, Hoop accessibility, right? You also have the mix-matched rear boot lid because the old one had rusted out. You've got the sagging roof line, which actually happens to a lot of Fords. Ford, what are you guys doing? We also have the mix-matched wheels because, uh, well, the other wheel fell off apparently while driving uh, on a road trip, so. And as we come around to the driver's side, we also have the mix and matched XR6 door. So we actually have a whole list of problems with this car. Starting off, we've got the exhaust is rusted out, so it has holes in the exhaust. The O2 sensors, before and after the cats, have actually gone also. The bonnet release is broken. The roof lining, our cruise control is faulty. The driver door handle also keeps flying off. And the rear window tint is gone. And that's only a few things that I've looked at from the couple of minutes that I've spent walking around this car. I've been driving it around for a couple of days now, just while preparing for this episode. And I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. It, it, is, it is garbage, but it is beautiful. And I think as a car person, that's exactly what we look for. So you guys might be asking, Richie, what are you doing with this? And what are your goals? So my goals for this car is to do it up as absolutely cheap as possible as a budget build for all the enthusiasts out there who think it costs a lot of money to do up a car. And okay, it does, but you could start from anywhere. I don't really want to put a lot of money into this car. My goals for this is just to increase my mechanical knowledge because I, I love cars, but I don't know too much about them and how they work. Obviously, I know the basics of it, but I really want to dive into it and I don't want to work and break something on the Z. So I bought this for little road trips. If we get it up to a road trip worthy condition, hopefully, you know, road trip worthy condition, we could take it out on a couple road trips and see how it actually, like, you know, fares out there. But first off, I think this thing needs a clean. <laughs> oh, nasty. All right, so while we're driving to the car wash to get this thing cleaned up, I want you guys to comment down below how much you guys think I actually got the car for. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. And all I can say is, it's a steal. And I don't think many or anyone would say no to the price that I got it for. Turn around and he cross me, yeah, that's a friend of me Said he won't go, but I'd rather just take my energy Drinking my pain away, guessing that is a remedy Driving the top, trying to do me like John F. Kennedy I turn around and he cross me, yeah, that's a friend of me Said he won't go, but I'd Now I'm going to commit one of the car guys most hardened sins Using this brush If you don't know, this brush is the worst thing to use Because, well, it's killing scratch marks 
Because this is a budget build. Who cares? Oh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I turned around and he crossed me, yeah, that's a friend of me Said he won't go, but I'd rather just save my energy Drinking my pain away, guessing that is a remedy Driving the top, trying to do me like Don F. Kennedy I turned around and he crossed me, yeah, that's a friend of me Said he won't go, but I'd rather just save my energy Drinking my pain away, guessing that is a remedy Dropping the top, trying to do me like John F. Kennedy On to what you guys really, really want to know is how much I paid for this rust bucket. Now, some of you guys might be thinking I paid a couple grand for it, and you're close. Some of you guys might be thinking I paid a couple hundred for it, and I'd say you're even closer. The owner said that if I could pay to make it roadworthy-ish, that I could take the car. I ordered um, new brakes for the car because it was metal on metal. My mate Jono actually ended up paying for them and doesn't want me to pay him back, so I'll buy you a drink, Jono. Um, and after we installed them right then and there, I drove the car away and all I had to pay was transfer. But all that was, was $38. So yes, I paid $38 for this absolutely beautiful rust bucket of a machine. Now, would you guys pay $38 for this? Uh, would you pay more? Would you pay less? How much would you spend to fix it up knowing the problems that I've listed below. Also bear in mind, there might be more. I've been driving it around for a couple days and I haven't found any more. There's a few that I'll talk about in the next coming episodes, but I think we could get this back up and running and road trip worthy. What do you guys think? So if you guys are interested in this build and interested in following me, a non-mechanical person trying to fix this car on a complete budget of as close to zero dollars as possible, make sure you like the video, subscribe, show some support, uh, we've just hit 200 subscribers, which is absolutely massive. I appreciate all 200 of you guys and anyone watching this. It makes me feel absolutely amazing that you guys are interested in listening to me baffle on about nothing. And now I really want to learn how to fix this up. And this bucket of bolts is exactly what I'm going to do to do it. <laughs> Make sure to like the video, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.